I am Dave, President of the Republic of Dave. You will address me as Mr. President, or I will have you executed. Dave doesn't like us talking to strangers. Dave doesn't like us talking to strangers. Who are you? Shauna. Dave doesn't like us talking to strangers. Shauna. Dave doesn't like us talking to strangers. Yeah, but can you just... Dave doesn't like us talking to strangers. <sighs> Welcome back, everybody, to Fallout on the Capital Wasteland. No. Let's try that again. Welcome back, everybody, to Fallout with the Tale of Two Wastelands overhaul on the Capital Wasteland. No. Try that again. Welcome back, everybody, to Fallout with the Tale of Two... God damn it. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to Fallout on the Tale of Two Wastelands overhaul with the Capital Punishment Mod List. Hey, I did it. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, uh, we are going to go back to the Republic of Dave because I'm curious, and uh, then after we take care of the Republic of Dave, we're going to uh, go do our bounty, uh, which is way uh, kind of down in the southwest, and kind of maybe hit Girder Shade after that and explore uh, some area down there. All right, so let's do this. I am in tip-top condition. Went and saw the doc and he got me all fixed up. Still have not found a doctor's bag though. Um to fix our head when it gets hurt. So it's such a pain in the ass, but it is what it is, I suppose. Uh so let's get our night vision on. And I think what we'll do. Let's see here. Let's take a look at the map again. So we're kind of right in the center of the map. Well, a little further south. Infested Reservoir. Um, okay, so, yeah, that's Canterbury. We could maybe go just cross the river and, and go all the way as far east as we can go, and then, uh, or more or less, and then just kind of work our way up that side of the map. Just to kind of, you know discover it, explore it, etc. So yeah, why don't we do that? I think uh I think we can get across the river at that infested reservoir place. I went by there a long time ago, back in the early more robots. Oh, we can actually probably get over right there early part of the playthrough and uh, I didn't really investigate it too much because there was a lot of radiation there I think there's a yeah there's a rat scorpion The poison only. All right. So, uh, hmm. I think we can get across over there. Let's go down this way. Don't, uh, what the hell? I don't want to immediately get radiation again because we just got ourselves all fixed up. All right, cool. So yeah, let's just head east here. And see what there is to see. Uh, is that the... Yeah, that's the infested reservoir there. Okay. There's two... Yalgwai? 
Is that what I'm looking at? Uh, no, it's just he's got his legs weird. Oh, uh, I switched back to my big boy machine gun here, too. Um, would have been nice to have had this when we... Is that just... Yeah, that's just rocks. You know, when we, <laughs> we were fighting all those death claws, but... Our shotgun uh, did a good job, too. I was just running low on slugs. something. Oh, it's just the bubbling of that muckety muck there. So I don't think I've actually been um, over in this area yet. So it looks like we maybe get back into part of this very northern part of the city. Perhaps. Yep. Don't remember being over here even back when I played 15 or so years ago. I don't know if it was exactly 15 years ago, but it was a very long time ago uh, when I played Fallout 3. Does this go anywhere? Manhole to... Bethesda Underworks. Okay. So I'm guessing maybe this is considered the district of Bethesda, perhaps? I was curious. Let's keep heading east. Boxing Times, a letter from Vault Tech. And why did I just pick up two tin cans? Uh, okay. Letter from Vault Tech. Dear safety conscious citizen, we are writing to inform you that your family was not selected for inclusion in your chosen Vault Tech facility. Your deposit has been retained in your application added to a waiting list for your preferred vault. In the interest of your family's security in the event of a minor nuclear event, a minor nuclear event, uh, please consider relocating to one of these areas where vault tech facilities are available without a waiting list. For a full test of vault, a full list of vault tech facilities with available accommodations in exciting locales such as Oklahoma and the newly annexed Canada, contact your local vault tech representative. Vault tech wishes you and your family the best of luck in the uncertain future. Best regards. Okay. We're not reading the Keller family transcripts until we get all of them. Or at least until we find the first one. Oh. It took me a second <laughs> for that to register in my brain that it was booby trapped. Alright. Doesn't look like we can go into this house. Almost looks like the lights are on in it though. Yeah, those houses are all boarded up. This is gonna be fun! This is gonna be fun! Is that like a flashbang or something? If she shoots that car, it's going to go up. Or if we do. <laughs> Woo hoo hoo! Cub Bluey! Did we get her? Uh, 
Uh, I think. Yeah, maybe we'll take the prickly pear fruit. Alright. Where did that raider bitch go? The tricycle survived the nuclear blast. She probably got blown to kingdom come, so who knows where her body is. Ten millimeter rounds and some buff out. All right, let's um patch ourselves up a little bit here. Is this a prickly pear? Oh, that's pretty good stuff. No negative effects at all. All right, let's take it. I like it. Door to the raid shack. Is that kind of like the love shack, except for it's the raid shack? Someone's coming down. Okay, huh. cut the shit. Get noise back, again. you monkeys. I got first call on the goods. Get back, you monkeys. Alright. Oh, we have one more. God damn it. Okay. Uh, we'll take the flash stab happy. Okay. I uh, when I edit this video, I might have to turn the sound way down or even off. I'm pretty sure that song that's playing is copyrighted. Assuming I even remember to do that. Hopefully I do. I guess YouTube will let me know. Wait, did I just see a cherry bomb? Yeah. I just want to make sure I don't accidentally activate the toilet and drink the water. Uh, that grenade rifle is going to be heavy as shit. Silenced 22 SMG. That metal armor is in really good shape. Uh, there we go. Medics. I can't quite here. Get the surgical tubing. It's not letting me loot that other. Oh, I think. Shut up. Uh, what I think is a medex. All right, whatever. Uh, we will not take the Chinese assault rifle. It's in terrible condition. Those are smokes. Pre-war money and mintats. Right away. I'll take some right away, right away. Okay, I think that's primarily all that's in here. That we're interested in. Okay, let's take a look at a couple of things. First of all, what is stab happy? It's a Kniffy with a bonus critical chance. All right, we'll hang on to it because it is a named weapon. And I like to collect named weapons, even though I don't use most of them. Uh, grenade rifle. That is worth 60 caps. And it's got it's a, six pounds. All right. This silenced S22 SMG has no mods, 
It's only worth 22 caps. We're getting rid of it. We might hang on to the grenade rifle for now, though. That's worth 269 caps. We're going to try and hang on to it as much as we can. All right, let's go. Let's keep heading east. Whoop. A little bit of a lag spike there. Let's take another bandage as well. Just checking to see if those mailboxes say activate. If they do, we run like hell. Still have a caution. Oh, there's another bot over there. Oh, what? Go. That's right here. Vision batteries are pretty damn heavy, but they're. Well, actually, what is the VW on those? I know I ch checked it before, but I can't remember. It's 12 and a half. Okay. 75 caps. I mean, we'll hang on to it for now. All right. Something exploded down here. Oh, look. That's what. Yowzers. Come on, god damn it. I tapped the button twice, but the second one didn't register. It's not the first time that's happened. Thank god it didn't hit us in the arms. What the hell? Are these Are these like not lootable for some reason? Because I, all I do is I walk up to him and I tap twice. Tap, tap. And I did that both times and the second tap's not registering. I call bullshit. Alright. Guess that's all there was. And I'm, I mean, I've got a reasonably high explosive skill too, so... Definitely call bullshit. It's not my fault. You guys can't blame me for that. No sirree Bob. All right. I think it's time to remove these. Stim pack is worn off. How about if we do a small med kit? There we go. All right. What do we got here? It goes on into DC. We have discovered ring road gas. Oh, I've got some lights. On the outside of my base that I need to show you guys are pretty cool. I don't know exactly when they became available, but... Alrighty. Just 
Just a bunch of food in here. Art and smokes. A stem back. An empty safe. Mintats. Quantum. And a septic. Well, can't mine. Um, what is the VW on a conductor? It's only six. Okay, yeah, let's ditch that then. That's a that's kind of border borderline there. Not really seeing anything else substantial in here. Okay. Guess that's it. As far as I can tell. Uh -huh. Over here. here you are. Ah! You'll be remembered. Ah! Where's the third one? There's always a third one. Well, no, actually, there isn't always a third one. We still have a caution. Winchester City Killer. That's interesting. Okay. What is a Winchester City Killer? It's a 12 gauge shotgun that does 386 DPS. Whoa. It doesn't have a really. F oh, what the hell was that? It doesn't have a super fast fire rate, but. And we got a bot up there. What the fuck? What is a feral ghoul doing out in broad daylight? Oh, there he is. I just found the other talon. Here, we should probably... So he just took care of the... Wait, did the bot take care of him or he take care of the bot? They're both still alive. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Damn it. Take that. I don't think I want any of the rest of that, though. Okay, so... Scrap electronics. That's what we like to see. Uh, Alright, so let's see here. This thing is... It's kind of a cool weapon, but it doesn't have a very fast fire rate. And it's not worth a whole lot, either. Considering the fact that it weighs 10 pounds. It's very cool looking though. But. I mean I've got. I've got shotguns at home. that fire way faster than this. Not to mention our H&K cause fires way faster than that, too. 
But that's still a really high DPS, though. Hmm. I don't know. We'll hang on to it for now, just because it's kind of cool looking and kind of unique. But, you know, if we have to ditch something, we have to ditch it. Okay, let's keep moving west, or sorry, east here until we can go no further, and then we'll start heading north. That was weird that there was a feral ghoul out in broad daylight, though. I can't say off the top of my head that I've seen that happen before. I probably have. We got some kind of big, maybe a power plant place up here. There's a Brahmin. I've really been enjoying these last few episodes where we just kind of go out and explore the world and not worry too much about, you know, following a quest. Though we will definitely get back to questing too. That is faux show. We need to discover this place here. Corveva, uh, excuse me, Corvega factory. Let's just pop our head in here real quick. Oh, this is neat. It's like a old car factory. And that would seem to suggest there are ants infesting this place. Is that what that shit is? Yes, it is. All right. Well, I don't want to crawl through here right now. Uh, we will take lying congressional style, though. And some darts. But perhaps we will come back here at another time, either for a quest or just for the hell of it. All right, let's look at the map. We're getting pretty close to the eastern border here. I am no longer well rested. How close are we to the next level? We're almost halfway there. I want to get that adamantium skeleton. Because probably the biggest pain in my ass in this game is limb damage. And head damage in particular. Though the rest, the rest of the limb damage sucks too. No two ways about it. See a bot way over there it looks like. And a fire? Oh. Are you guys bad bats? They don't look like bad bats. I swear it was this way. Later. Hey. The hell do you want? We're busy. Uh, what are you busy doing? I heard arguing. What's going on? We're trying to find this place up north called Oasis. Supposed to have a lot of good stuff to grab. I think that's the place where we're supposed to find soil for our hydroponics. Yeah, me too. You know where it is? But we ain't interested in sharing it with every dirty waster that wanders in. So now we're going to have to kill you. That is not a good idea. I really suggest you don't try to do that. Aha, hey. Look out! Where? Well, you know, it might actually be a good idea for me to load my shotgun. Steady. They killed him. Oh. Fuck. Fuck. Still in danger. From what? Oh. <laughs> the game just crashed. Ah, oh, damn it. I. 
to, oh, oh, we would have saved when we came out of the Corvega factory. Okay. We're good. Talon again? Shit. Oh, fuck me. We just killed them. They must be really pissed that I took out their headquarters. Here, have a grenade. There you are. That really hurts. Nope, wrong button. weapon is just kicking my ass. Limberjack. Cripple a hundred limbs. Whew. Okay. Wow. I mean, come on, game. What the hell? <laughs> we just killed these assholes. Um... 16.8, 19% maximum health. We're not in combat. Hello. All right. Let's just take a couple stim packs then. Try beam. Oh, we're picking that up to get the mods, of, not the actual weapon. Oh, geez. Yeah, that's worth 595 coin. But it's because of the mods. Yeah. I already have a tri-beam back at the base, so we're not going to take the weapon, but we will definitely take the mods. No wonder that fucking thing was hurting so much, man. Tri-beam laser? Ouch. This guy's got a shit -a ton of ammo on him. A mercenary? No. We'll take the finger of those. That armor's pretty good shape. In fact, so are those things, too, for that matter. Let's just see, though. Mercenary pistol. Nah. Antique submachine gun. I mean, sort of. 163. I think we're going to ditch the grenade rifle. Okay, that's a VW of 12 for 144. We'll hang on to it for now, but, you know, as usual, it'll be one of the first things to go. Okay, so where are these... We killed... Where'd the guy go that we killed over here? Did he go flying somewhere? Here he is. Oh, I'll take the steamed mire lurk. Okay. And then there should have been a third asshole over here somewhere. Okay, that's where those other guys were before we crashed. I wonder if they got killed. Hmm. Well, I don't see any other bodies around up here, so I don't know. I don't know, yo. You have discovered cliff tent. This looks like a place where a bad boss might be for one of our barrel shotgun. Uh, one of our bounties later. Okay. 
Yeah, I don't know what happened to the body of the other Talon. Uh, or the guys that were down here. Of course, maybe the guys that were down here... Oh, here he is. Maybe they just didn't uh, spawn. So they kind of seem like a random kind of thingamadoodle. Mercenary shotgun. Uh, let's look at that for a minute. It's worth a decent amount of bank. And you know what? Now that I think about it, we're gonna we're gonna be crossing right by uh, Canterbury Commons, so we can sell all this stuff. Or if we want to keep anything, just send it back to the post office box. Oh, enemy! An enemy that just laid down to take a nap, and he will never wake up again. Uh, I take that back. He just woke up. Okay. Got to be getting close. Yes, we are. Let's get this reloaded. You need to be reloaded as well. Cannot proceed in that direction. Okay, so we have hit the edge of the map. Just out of curiosity. Let's do a quick save here. See how far we can go. I don't know if we would hit an invisible barrier or if it'll kill us or teleport us. Where we get into like a seriously bad radiated zone or something. But we're doing this for science. Yeah, it just kind of turns into a big old empty wasteland. I don't know if you can do this in the normal vanilla game. I mean, go this far out. I want to say that there was like an invisible barrier that wouldn't let you go any further. It's from letting us go way the hell out here. Let's go over here and check out these buildings. This is a mod that puts these extra really tall buildings in. That's not in the normal game. They're really intended just to be kind of, you know, background LOD stuff anyway, because you can see they're pretty low res. They're neat, though, because they do add that feeling of being in a larger city when you're not paying super close attention to them. Yeah, usually the further out you get, the more jank the terrain starts to get. Now this, ladies and gentlemen, this is a wasteland. Man, it's really letting me go far out here. At some point, the train will end, and then we we just fall off into the into the void. But crazy. <clears throat> okay, I'm just gonna do an F9 reload. I don't want to walk all the way back. I was just curious to see how far I was gonna let us go out there. Quite a ways. All right, let's go around this pond here, and we'll start heading north to Canterbury. Sell off our stuff. And then move on to the Republic of Dave and go have a chat with Dave.
I don't remember the Republic of Dave the last time I played this game. It seems to me like, though, that it's normal vanilla content. There's a bot down there. And one down there. And a Yagwai right there. Don't turn around. Do I have limb damage in my arms? Oh, I do. Going, why am why is my uh, weapon moving around so much? We are really using up the splints today. All right. Why are we in danger? Oh, right there. I hear some robots. Making trouble somewhere. Oh, God damn it. We got headshot. Oh. There's no doctor in um, Canterbury either. I might just fast travel back to Megaton and get fixed up. I don't want to spend the whole rest of this episode with a concussion. Uh, I don't really want any of that stuff. See if there are any traders over here. Yeah, we got somebody. If you need a ride, we got it's one Crow. Here to acquire a new mantle. Uh, here to buy. Have a look. See if anything calls out to you. He doesn't have any stim packs. That sucks. Okay. Um, you can have. Oh, wait a second. Hold on. I always forget. Walk well. Got to put my jammies on. Actually, now my jammies, my trader outfit, and Button's wig. There we Looking go. for that special something. If the clothes make the man, then here are the means to remake yourself. Okay, you can have that, and you can have that. That'll lighten us up significantly. Now, the pre-war money... I don't think... He will... Um, buy weapons from us. No, he doesn't. But he'll buy... Here, you can have all this alcohol. We gotta read that. Okay, that got us 350 caps. Thanks. Maybe. Why don't you top off our shotgun, our backpack... Our machine gun, our navy armor, snake lore, and the sniper rifle, and the talent combat helmet. There we go. Okay. Walk. Rising to see. All right. Your transporter cool. Isn't taking you as far as you would like to go. Purchase a. Um. Well, you know what. If I'm going to... What's up? Joe, you're not going to buy weapons from me, are you? No, I don't think so. Only huh? the best. Oh, you got to... Oh, he's got doctor's waste. bags. Oh, yes. For what that's worth. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Ooh, god damn, those are expensive. Uh, Let's get the preserved blood packs from him, too. Whew. Well, it's only money. <laughs> Here, you can have the Yao Gwai meat, the Fancy Lad snacks. I'll give you all of the normal Nuka-Colas. 
Wow, that's expensive, but it means we don't have to go back. And the thing is, is <clears throat> you know, if I went back to Megaton, I'd have the VIN come back here. And that alone is going to probably cost us around 300 caps. So I think it's probably about 150 to Megaton. So that's quite not quite as expensive as it seems. At least I'm going to tell myself that. Ouch. <laughs> All right, we got Another Dr. Spikes. Satisfied customer. I am satisfied, except for, damn, that was expensive. Okay, let's get our head fixed. Uh, let's see, go to stat, head, Dr. Spike. And we have two more to boot. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Um, all right, so we can continue on. Let me see, is there anything I want to ship back to Megaton? Actually, there are. We'll send back all ammunition that we're not actually using. I'll lighten this up. Do I have... Yeah, let's take some steamed mirework. That'll get us back in tip-top condition. All right. That worked out quite well. Are you still going to be a bitch? What? Yep. <laughs> Goodbye. She's still a bitch. I'm not going to take that. All right, let's continue heading north. To the Republic of Dave we go. Another Yagwai. Shit, two Yagwais. I forget how powerful this pistol is, man. It's silenced and it's just smooth as butter, so but it kicks ass. I mean it's it's the highest DPS pistol I have, 176. And uh I've tried to you know, I've I've fixed up a couple of my other pistols, like even the big 44s and stuff, just to see how they compare, and this one still beats them all. Especially with the 45 pressure, high pressure rounds. And funny thing is, too, is we found this pretty early. Oh, uh, pretty early in the playthrough. We found it in um, Minefield. Okay, that's a big boy. I think we'll get the slugs out for him. I've made pretty decent coin off of those Rad Scorpion Poison Glands. They sell for a decent amount of money. Are we still... Okay. Why are we still in danger? Guess not. Okay, let's go down through here. For some reason, I'm very excited to find out what the Republic of Dave is all about. President Daddy. Oh, we're already past the border here. Okay, let's go back this way a bit. Oh, you know what? That's the power line shack that we did our first bounty at. Or power line tent, rather. So we got robots and raiders fighting each other. I think the robot just kicked the shit out of those guys. We'll take out the robot. All right, we'll take that. Uh, don't think I want... Uh, well, let's pick it up and look at it. 
don't want the assault rifle. And I don't want any of that stuff. Is there a, a new dude that spawned in here? Or dudette, as the case may be? Oh, I didn't realize my light was off. We'll take those and that. And I guess we can take that too. There shouldn't be any loot in here because, uh, oh well, unless it repopped or I forgot to loot that, which is entirely possible. All right. <coughs> Ow! Barbed wire hurts. Okay, let's keep moving on to the Republic of Dave. Oh shit, but I already killed you. Apparently not. I killed your, your buddy, but not you. Ah oh, shit, okay, we took a hit to the arm. And uh, so let's go to... I have two splints left. I wonder if the Republic of Dave has a doctor. That looks like a traitor down there. All right. Yeah? Yeah? Take a look. Welcome to Godforsaken Hellhole. Not much to look at, but it's all mine. Didn't? <laughs> we run into you way out west? I don't know. He doesn't have a doctor's bag. I'll take a dirty water. We will sell you this marine carmine. Now the Alguai meat, I got plenty of that. And uh the rad scorpion glands and the fission battery. Uh that'll give him an extra two caps. You can have extra two caps as a bonus. Okay. Another satisfied customer. Whatever. Oh, whatever. Okay. I need to remember to read this. What is our speech up to now? It is up to 29 without our jammies and stuff. Cool. All right, let's go. We need to go north. So last time we were here, they said we could just come in, I believe. Kids did. Have you heard about Dave, mister? Are you really from the wasteland? Wow! I really am. I'd like to know more about the Republic. Um, okay. As long as President Daddy says it's all right. Okay. Uh, tell me more about Dave. Daddy? He's not so bad. Shauna says he's the most important man to ever walk the wastes. I see. I don't know about that. The wastes are awfully big. Yeah, you sound like a pretty smart kid. Uh, what have you been up to? I like to play with the toys in the museum, but Shauna always yelled at me. That's not nice. What's your take on the Republic? Everyone says that Daddy is the best man ever, ever. Ever, ever? I don't know, but that's what Shauna says, so I guess it's true. You believe everything Shauna tells you? Okay. Uh-huh. Um, all right, I'll talk to you later. That's what Dave always says. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, are you Shauna? No, you're Mary. We already Come talked on. to you, Mary. Come on, I have to take you to Daddy. Okay, let's go see Daddy. Hopefully Daddy's not like, you know, a cannibal or something. We'll get into walk mode here. 
There's an adult over there. Don't you just love election time, Ralph? Um, I guess so. Ralph? There's a lot of kids here. I hope they're being treated well and nothing nefarious is going on. Alright, let's take these off. And make sure my light's on. Okay. Let's go, Mary. President Daddy, there's a wastelander who wishes to see you, sir. I keep telling you, it's Mr. President. Now get back to guarding the gate. Uh. Dude. We have hmm? someone new in my republic. Rosie? Okay, you were a little bit unkind to that kid. I am Dave, President of the Republic of Dave. You will address me as Mr. President or I will have you executed. <laughs> um, now, are you applying for a citizenship, asylum, or just vacationing in the Republic of Dave? Let's go with vacationing. Um, I am an ambassador in the Republic of Timmy. We seek... To <laughs> I'm seeking asylum. I'm seeking citizenship. I'm just a traveler. I guess you could say I'm vacationing. Yeah. The Department of Tourist Rights has declared a tourism embargo that affects the entirety of the Republic of Dave. Okay. You have 24 hours to return to your home nation or face accelerated deportation. Okay, so it means I can hang out for 24 hours. All right, let's see what Rosie has to say. Dave doesn't like us talking to strangers. Dave doesn't like us talking to strangers. Okay. Yes, that's locked. And yes, I can see you eyeing it. Okay. Dave doesn't like us talking to strangers. What about the kids? The kids get to talk to strangers. A ballot box. We have nothing more to talk about. Leave my Republic within 24 hours or you will be executed for treason. Wait a minute, I thought you said I'd be exiled. What if I just make a donation to the Republic and you let me stay? Um, there must be something I can do to stay. Hmm. Now that you mention it, the President could use a new hunting rifle. Okay, I come across those on occasion. Tell you what. You find me a serviceable hunting rifle, and I'll grant you special asylum within my Republic. All right, we can do that. Or you can just pay the 250 cap tax on unwanted refugees. <laughs> okay. Um, I'll pay you. Uh, no, I mean, yeah, next time I come across a hunting rifle. Uh, do you mean an actual hunting hunting rifle, or can it be like a 32 rifle? Very well. I look forward to it, future refugee. Okay. Note to self, if we come across a hunting rifle, I'm assuming it means an actual hunting rifle and not just a 32. A wastelander, like in the stories about Dave. Yeah, we've already talked to Mary. You're, you seem like a nice kid. Hopefully that guy doesn't mistreat you. Door of the Republic of the Dave... Yeah. Oh, wait, we just came from there. Never mind. Have we talked to this kid yet? Flower. President Daddy says the people from outside the Republic are bad. Most of them are. Uh, can you tell me more about your Republic? Um, okay. As long Daddy. President Daddy to you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what have you been up to? President Daddy says I sleep too much. But I don't sleep much at all. That's interesting. Okay, what's your take on the I Republic? I want to be like Shauna when I grow up. She's smart, just like Mommy. Of course, Daddy is smarter. Like, way smarter. Way smarter. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right. Talk to you later. Hooray for the Republic! <laughs> you seem like a pretty happy kid, actually, all, all things considered. And so does Mary, Hi. really. Hi, Mary. Who are you? Shauna. Dave doesn't like us talking to strangers. Shauna. Dave doesn't like us talking to strangers. Yeah, but can you just... Dave doesn't like us talking to strangers. <sighs> okay. Well, I guess we're gonna... The Museum of Dave... I guess we're going to have to uh, find a hunting rifle for Dave. 
Yes. Perception bobblehead. Nice. All right, cool. Hey, does Dave have a hunting rifle I can steal and then give to him? <laughs> uh, all right. Well. Have we talked to you? Yeah, we've Almost talked to you. As big as Dave. I'm bigger than Dave, actually. And my daddy can beat up Dave's daddy. Just so, just so you know. Okay, well, I guess... Uh, what's in here? No, we can't go in there. What's in here? Can't go in there. Okay. So, we'll come back to the Republic of Dave when we find ourselves a hunting rifle. We'll even fix it up for him, because that's just the kind of guy we are. Alright. See you later, kid. Stay inside there. Don't come out. It's very dangerous out here. And you're right. Most of the people out here are just complete a-holes. Not me, though. I'm a nice guy. Most of the time. 